Okay, so look, this is off of Fox today when I was watching the news, which I know that nobody gets any of this shit, and it's probably completely all wrong, but I still have to put it out. So, some people's feelings get hurt. Oh, and do me a favor. If you like somebody else's page, stay over there. Don't come over here and tell me to go over to somebody else's page and check their stuff out. I do my own work. If you want to watch my stuff, you come here. Don't come over here and leave a message and saying, oh, go check out this guy, he did that. Because I understand that little subliminal game. Because what that's supposed to do is throw the kilter off of what I'm doing so that people will run over there and stop looking here. Do you understand? You get it, right? You don't think I'm that stupid? Okay, I know that, that whole organization that has to do with that stuff. Okay, so in order to avoid a big all-out war with that particular group here on YouTube, I'm giving you fair warning. Don't come over here and ask me to go over there because I know you're not asking me. You're asking the people on here. See, this whole Saturn thing <clears throat> is the crux of the whole thing. It's the crux of the whole thing here. And because it is, you'll notice that all of these big-name dudes never talk about it. Yet it's involved in everything. Okay? The only one that does mention it uh, very, very rarely, but he has, would be Jordan Maxwell. And that's only for a second, and then boom, he's off of it. None of these other guys will do it. Okay, they don't do it. They don't do it in real time. They don't show you how it's being tied to the news. You know, it's what involves Judaism. It's what involves uh, witchcraft. It's what unfortunately draws all the religions into one particular fucking point. They just don't know it. Okay, so don't don't come over here, people, and you know who you are. You know who you are. Don't be stupid. Don't be retarded. I know it's hard for you. Don't be stupid. Okay, because rehashing the same information over and over and over again is pointless. If you can't do it on a daily basis and go through it, then what's the point of you making videos? Anyway, enough of your bullshit, okay? This is what was on Fox News today. They got this stupid thing called the cookie dance. I never heard of it. I never even liked the fucking cookie monster when I was a kid. Anyway, I took some clips from the video. Now here he is, he's, he's saying all this crazy shit, but this is what catches my eye. It says... It says, do the cookie dance, do it, San, do it, San. Okay, San, look, being ex-military, a Sam, like this over here, you see that, see this over here? A Sam is a surface-to-air missile. A San, to me, given the times that we live in, would be something like a surface-to-air I don't know what the other A, A, A is, but it would be like a su surface to air something nuclear. Uh, it would be a designation for ground launched nuke. Some are submarine launched, some are dropped from aircraft. See, here's what people don't understand about nukes. People think it's like in the cartoons, where the thing comes down and hits the ground and it blows up. No. These things are called proximity bombs. And what, it, what the deal is, is they go off about a mile up in the air. Sometimes two miles, because that way you get a blast radius that goes out in every direction. If it was to hit the ground, it would only it would only explode basically at a 45 degree angle, going up and out away from the target. So basically, what this is, a, a surface to air would be like this thing over here, which is interesting because this is called an S300, and this is a surface surface to air surface to air missile, nuclears. Okay. So this guy, he's standing next to something that appears to look like the Middle East, right? He's holding an AK, which is a Russian weapon. Okay, he's wearing red, and he's got this cookie around him. All right, I'll get to that in a minute. So he's going to do the cookie dance. Well, in that video, here he is in a hot tub, and here's his, here's his tattoo. Now, this is, this, this is where our Red Sea pedestrians, okay? The chosen ones get back into this mix. You notice this, it says never again, but if you look at it real close, that's that's an E, that's an A and an E, and an alpha symbol. Okay, so the A and the E, yeah, we went through that yesterday, didn't we? The AE and the alpha, that's the whole Saturn alien pantheon god, in, in, uh, Inky, or Enlil. 
right? So it's so that's tied to these boys, right? Also, if you take these letters and you and you reverse it, interestingly enough, if we went A A S, then that comes over here to this. And what is this? These are the boys over in Ireland. And that stands for the wisdom of the snake, which has the same thing to do with this, which is the serpent in the Garden of Eden. Now, I know for a fact that when you're talking about a cookie, that's a speciality thing. There's, whoever made this picture knew what it meant. And it, the best I can come up with is the hardest thing about making one of these things is you have to build the trigger. The trigger is the biggest thing. You can do all the rest of it, but you need the trigger. And that would be the cookie. Okay, and so they're doing the cookie dance because they've got the trigger. The trigger is what makes it work. It's 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 just like a, it's just like the trigger on a pistol. It, it, what it is, is it fire it, it fires basically uh, a projectile. It slams slams the material together because it causes causes the causes the explosion. So they're doing the cookie dance, and this guy is saying, "Do it." He's wearing this thing around his neck. He's got the Israeli star on his chest. This jerk is in here. This symbol here. There's the infinity sign. There's the infinity sign there. So he's got the infinity sign on here over the R, okay? The R and the RX, like you see it in um, the pharmacy. The RX is the same as the Catholic PX. They're old symbols for Saturn. If you look, if you can see it, you might have to blow up the screen. It says FM, it says uh, FMR, FMB or whatever, uh, or FML. That's Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Notice they got the black guy for the Brotherhood. Then this story on Fox came right after it. Here's this guy here shot the ball and it got stuck. And it's called the shot, the shot clock. It got stuck. Okay, notice it got stuck at six. Okay. Right after that story, they did a story about this. Corey Thunderlaw, who, who made the longest free throw just recently, 109 feet, 9 inches, right? So they, And then they had to make sure that they put it in, in meters, right? So it was 33, 45, so there's your 6 and your 9, and there's your 15. This guy, the 15, right? The Hebrew AR, the, uh, uh, Masonic Hebrew AR, right? So one last thing about this. This Corey Thunderlaw, <clears throat> which you could be talking about Thor, right? Which is which is your Aryan god, or you could be talking about this stuff over here, the Thunderbolts. And, I, and okay, these guys were involved in all kinds of tactical stuff, going all the way back to the 50s. All of this stuff, it's all tied together, brother. Because you got you got M Mason over here, you got Jew over here. You've got the middle Middle East over here. You've got n the nuclear the nuclear trigger here. You've got alchemy, which is science and science and magic combined. And you got this dude, the Black Knight, right? The Black Knight. Basically, it's the Saturn dude, right? On the shot clock. The shot clock. The trigger. Okay. Again, I just want to po point out. Don't. Come to my channel with your stupid bullshit little game and say, oh, check out so-and-so because he predicted. Because I don't give a fuck what he predicted. Okay? I'm not predicting anything. I'm just trying to show you things in current events, how they, how, how they might be tied together. Like with the Jews going to the Philippines that I did back in May. Right? And I said, you know, why would they be re relocating there? And then all of a sudden, this, this comes up about this gold inlay. And now today, they, they're talking about their shipment of goods to the people in Philadelphia, or over in the Philippines. But their plan fell through, so they got to get a new warehouse. Yeah, really? Do they need it because of this here? They got to get a new warehouse for their goods. Better start understanding nothing on that TV, nothing from the Fox News, MSN, or anything else is nothing but them working against you to set you up to have you annihilated. Period. And only oh, if you think you got any friends here, you don't. There's no friends in this world for you. 
You might have friends that you talk to, but there is nobody fighting for us dudes out here except us. 